Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today is a very much requested video. Every time I do one of these, I get requests um, to do this brand. So today is a Massimo Duty Roundup. All of my favorite pieces on their site at the moment. You know the drill, I share all the pieces that I love because I don't personally feel the need to go out and buy all of these and shop them all. But you always tell me it's useful for me to now things down for you. The high street can be very, very overwhelming. Um, so to just have somebody maybe help you out in narrowing down uh, why pieces are good, why they'll be useful, etc., um, is hopefully really helpful in your wardrobe. So without further ado, let's get started on the first piece. This is actually something I have bought and that is this beautiful gray blazer. I actually eyed this up on their site the other day and I just had to have it because I thought it was just everything I wanted in a gray blazer and everything I wanted from a gray blazer. So it's got a slightly cinched in waist. Um, I've spoken about this a lot on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on there, it's at Lydia Jane Tomlinson. I do a lot of style tips on there. This video will also probably be on shorts as well, but basically it's all about the changes that are coming in the blazer world. And that is the kind of cinched in waist, slightly oversized style. We're still seeing the oversized around, but they're going to be coming with a slightly more cinched in style. And this just also feels so timeless. It's not too oversized, it's not too cinched in, it doesn't feel too extreme in any way, so it's not really kind of ad adhering to any trend as such, but it just kind of ticks a little bit of those boxes um, in a subtle way. And then I just love this shade of grey, it's like a really nice mid-grey, which makes it nice for this transitional season, and then you can carry it through to autumn and winter as well. Um, I think this colour works really nicely with tan shades in a more summery way, and then obviously with your darker shades going into autumn, winter and tonal greys. Um, but already I've worn it a lot. I wore it to an event the other day. Um, you can wear it with a shirt underneath, tank top, t-shirt, long sleeve top. Um, because it's a bit oversized, you can get away with like a, a slim fitting jumper underneath. So loads of different ways that you can style this. Um, if you want to see more styling options with this blazer, by the way, then do let me know um, and I can do a reel or something for you. So I've got so many pieces saved to my basket, but I did think I'd just give a quick mention to the matching trousers to this blazer. There are matching trousers available. So if you did want to create that suit look, then there's some beautiful gray trousers. Equally, the trousers will work well as a standalone piece. But if you're looking to create a suit, then this is just a beautiful piece. You can dress it up, dress it down, and also really nice for workwear as well. If you're looking to up your game a bit this September, then I think um, doing like a head to toe suiting kind of look is always a good way to feel a bit more polished and put together. Next is this wool blend um, cropped jacket and it comes in this, it says it's a top, but um, to me it looks like more of a beige and then it also comes in black with buttons down the front. It's very much adhering to that ladylike, polished, sophisticated style that we've been seeing a lot around, vintage, but it's not too, what's the word? It's not too cliched looking. It's still quite simple and minimal and that's what makes it more wearable. It doesn't have lots of kind of vintage details on it, but it's got that vintage nod while still feeling very modern. So these kind of jackets are not going anywhere at all. They're just such a classic as well. Both of these would look so nice with wide leg trousers, maybe with a midi or a maxi skirt for now, um, and then wider trousers as it gets cooler. Straight leg trousers also look really nice. And also like a slouchy denim look really cool um, as like a nice contrast against these more structured kind of jackets. Next are these gathered stretch ballet flats. They are potentially a bit low in stock, so hopefully when this video goes up, there'll still be, still be some in stock. And I know stock varies depending on which country you're watching it from anyway, but these are like a brown um, Mary Jane style shoe, um, but they just feel a little bit more sophisticated than a traditional Mary Jane. I think it's with that thicker strap and the brown leather, it just feels a little bit more of a grown up take on that Mary Jane look. Um, that we're seeing around a lot of, but these are very wearable at the same time. Again, with slouchy denim, I think it would look so cool with these. They're giving me very like the row, Kate sort of vibes, very um, kind of quiet luxury feeling with that slightly trend-led twist. 
If you missed out on the bomber jacket trend last season, then again, they're not going anywhere, but we're really seeing this sophisticated shape of bomber jacket. And those are the kind of shapes to me anyway, that will stand more the test of time. I don't love those kind of cargo-y, what is that fabric? Like a kind of, almost like a waterproofy fabric. I don't like those kind of bomber jackets, but these like wool style bomber jackets just feel so sophisticated. And personally for me, I wore mine a lot just because they gave a more casual edge to the look. Instead of like a smart coat or a blazer, it was actually nice to have that more relaxed style of jacket. And I think that's something we often find missing in our wardrobes. It's that slightly more pared down style of jacket. I know that's something I sort of neglect. So to have that more casual piece then allows you to wear more tailored pieces with it. So things like nice tailored trousers and then you've got the more relaxed bomber jacket. So it's nice to have that kind of contrast between the two and it's hard to come by. And in a recent video, I spoke all about kind of how to reassess your wardrobe. And one of the main things was basically look and write down what you're missing. And, and for me, it can often be a more casual style of jacket. So this one fits the bill really nicely. And um, I think it's one of those things you'd be able to get a lot of wear out of in the coming season. So just a quick shout out to this blazer. It's a little bit more of an expensive one, this Napa leather blazer in burgundy. I just think this is so cool. We're going to be seeing so much kind of colored leather, just those leather and faux leather pieces around this season. I always say I, I personally focus on more of the migration trends and things that maybe are classic pieces. Leather we see every year. I always wear leather pieces in autumn, winter. I'm sure we all probably do. Um, but I'd say this year they're really going to have a spotlight. So um, actually it might be nice to invest in something that's a slightly different shade to your black leather. So that's why I like this burgundy leather blazer. It's, it's still very subtle and dark and easy to style, but I actually think um, it might be more useful than the black. Black leather can sometimes feel a little bit overpowering especially in a jacket so to have this burgundy shade actually will probably be easier to wear um you can kind of style it for now just with a white t-shirt or tank top like i'm doing here some relaxed denim like i'm doing and then as it gets um a bit cooler there's so many ways you can style this dress it up dress it down but also a tonal look would look so good with this burgundy color Next, we have this black knit vest with gold buttons. Uh, again, just quite a useful piece for this sort of transitional dressing. Um, to have that kind of extra layer that's not a jacket. I know where a lot of you live, it's not cold yet, but it's maybe getting slightly cooler and going slightly cooler, but it's still not cold enough to be wearing layers. Um, so to have that just vest as a bit of a layering option is actually really nice. Um, just under a simple t-shirt or a shirt or just like a round neck fine knit jumper would look really nice or just wear it on its own. I think also would look really chic. If you want to do that transitional dress, Dressing, but it's still warm where you are, then I think actually doing this vest, like a sleeveless vest. So many of you say to me, it's so hot where I live. So how can I kind of do that transitional dressing? I think doing it in a way that you kind of having a nod to the autumnal pieces like the knitted vest, but it's still sleeveless with a V-neck. So it feels a little bit airier. Another way to do transitional dressing really well um, is to go for kind of summery colors, but maybe in a slightly more tailored way. So I've got these cotton wide leg trousers. Actually, I think they say straight fit online, but they're slightly wide leg, a little bit looser fit, and they're white. So we've still got that slightly summery feel. So it makes a really nice transitional piece. You can then pair wide leg white trousers with knitwear and it looks so good, or things like blazers. And again, if it's warmer where you are, a simple t-shirt or a vest top would look really nice with these trousers. Very simple piece, a shirt, would look so good with them. I think it's always important to invest in those good shaped basics and white trousers for me are the one and this cotton fabric as well wouldn't feel too dressy. Some white trousers can feel quite uh, formal whereas I think these will be able to be worn both formally and casually. So one of my frequently asked questions is where can you get good quality bags that aren't kind of designer price tag, but aren't like cheap bags. And Massimo Dutti just do the best kind of accessories. I just feel like everything they do, although they are a slightly um, higher price point of high street brand, I do feel like you're really getting that designer look for less. So um, these two bags are the Napa leather bags. 
Um, it comes in burgundy and this beautiful beige shade. I think, again, they have that real kind of quiet luxury feel to them. Um, very the row. It's definitely a nod to that kind of look and that aesthetic. I love the kind of puffy shape of these bags. I think they're so cool. A bit similar to some Loewe ones that are out there. Um, but I love this burgundy shade, but also the lighter camely shade. I think they equally would work so nicely within an autumn color palette. Very flexible and versatile and just a change from a black bag as well. I'm just gonna give a quick shout out to this textured knit cardigan. Comes in black and cream. I nearly bought this the other week and then I saw a friend um, have like an almost identical one. Um, so I, I refrained because I've kind of got similar pieces, but I just think this cardigan style um, um, is really nice and I just wanted to give it a quick shout out because at the moment it's saying out of stock but it's saying coming back soon so I'm holding them to that and hoping by the time this video goes up they will be on their way back in stock but again really nice one for that transitional season where it's a little bit warmer but you still want to wear a little bit heavier pieces more autumnal pieces then um, I think having the knitted short sleeve works really nicely also these are so good for the evening when you want to dress up in the evening a little bit more more but don't want anything like a really fancy top or a blouse this is a really nice way to do that Massimo Ducci have some really good jewelry at the moment, especially some silver pieces um, like this bracelet. It's like a silver chunky bracelet. Silver is going to be huge. I think we've seen a real resurgence of silver in the past year. It's going to just get even bigger, I think. And it's just nice to mix it up if you are somebody who always wears gold. To have a couple of silver pieces every now and again is really nice. I know I'm actually wearing my kind of silver jewelry now, um, but to have that chunky bangle, I think, would look lovely it works in the evening works in the daytime not too over the top and they also have some other nice silver pieces to go alongside that okay I know it's maybe a little bit early for coats although saying that it's really cold here so I feel like a coat would be pretty appropriate right now I think if you don't get the good coats now they sell out really quickly so this coat um, is just beautiful there's so many reasons I like this the color is really nice very easy to wear and it's not black which is so nice for a change um, so it's like this moly brown coat I like it because it feels quite formal but then it's got that really relaxed shape to it again it's very very quiet luxury um, it's got that relaxed aesthetic but still looks like a, a looks quality like um, high-end quality high-end design it's relaxed it's not too out there it'll be easy to wear with lots of different things it's one of those pieces you could dress up and dress down to so I'm all about collared knitwear and I just saw this piece and thought actually that would be so useful for this time of year. Um, they come in different colors. I really like the gray shade actually. Um, I'm obviously very into gray at the moment but they also do it in like a black and cream. Cream would be a nice one for transitional dressing as well. So it's just a rib knit collared um, top and this is a good one to transition out of your vest tops and t-shirts. It's got that relaxed casual feel but you've just got a slight slightly more covered up element to it and it's also easy to tuck into things. I wear a lot of baggier trousers, wider leg trousers and I don't always want a baggier top with that. Um, it's sometimes quite hard to pair your tops with the wider trousers. So actually this is a really nice one to have in your wardrobe just to throw on with those wider leg pieces, those relaxed jeans. Then you could do this as well um, on warmer days with like a maxi skirt, some like a denim maxi skirt would look nice with this collared knit. Um, so I definitely am, I'm maybe thinking of getting this. I actually, well, I did my order the other day with this blazer in it. Um, I returned some trousers that were a bit too summery, but I feel like I'm, after this, I'm probably gonna do another small order, maybe with one or two pieces that I'm kind of missing. And I would say this sort of knit is something I think will be very useful for me that I've not really got many of. So our midi and maxi skirts aren't going anywhere. And I thought I'd do this slightly more grown up, less summery version of like the denim midi. Um, and that is this denim straight maxi with the buckle. It's like a kind of almost wrap effect. And I think this would be really easy to style in lots of different ways. Really nice for workwear as well. You could pop this with a shirt if you wanted to, but also I think with a really chunky knit and boots or some tray. Oh, sorry, my battery just went. So I had to adjust the camera a little bit. Um, but 
But as I was saying, that skirt would look really nice um, with lots of different styles of footwear. Dress it up, dress it down. Also in the evening, really chic with like a black bodysuit and a black pair of heels and then some statement gold jewelry. So definitely a good versatile one to add to your wardrobe. And I also think about that skirt. Uh, thinking of longevity, this would be a really nice one to then wear again next summer. Tan sandals, basket bag, and you can really dress it down. And I love taking those tailored pieces and making them feel a little bit more casual or summery. Again, a bit like the coat, I think boots are one of those things that you need to buy now, otherwise the good ones sell out for the rest of the season and you can never get your hands on them. So if you're looking for a really nice pair of black leather knee boots that you'll keep in your wardrobe forever, that you can always fall back on and rely on, um, then look no further than these. There's so many good points about these boots and it's all in those tiny details when you're looking for good pieces. So the slimmer toe just makes the, these boots feel really elegant to dress up a little bit more. I love the square heel of them. The heel isn't too high, but it's also not too low. The leg just feels really elegant. It's not too wide and it doesn't look really tight fitting either. They're just a really, really nice pair of boots all round and I think a decent price as well for this style of leather boot. Again, I always think it's really hard to come by good scarves when you want them. Um, there's so many times I feature a scarf in a reel or something in winter and people are like, where did you get that from? It's always an older piece and I try and find something similar to Link and then I can never ever find a decent like alternative scarf to link. So I think scarves just sell out quickly. Um, so I would really recommend this wool scarf, like an oversized wool scarf. Again, comes in two colors. I really like the gray. This is a really nice mid shade of gray. Um, nice to kind of put over blazers for those kind of October days where maybe it's not cold enough for a coat, but you're just feeling that chill in the air to have a nice big oversized scarf uh, just thrown uh, over your shoulder just looks so chic. Um, I don't think you'll ever be able to beat the chicness of a good scarf. Again, if you're looking for those ladylike style of pieces, Massimo Dutti just do the best. They've got this cream cropped um, jacket. You will be able to wear this so much. It's one of those pieces you can style up and down. I'd say it's a bit more casual than the black one I featured at the beginning. Um, it's kind of, I think, a little bit more wearable for daytime. You could wear it with denim, out for a nice lunch denim and some ballet flats, or dress it up in the evening with a skirt if you wanted to and some heels. I just think this is a lovely jacket. If you're looking for like a lighter shade of jacket that feels quite polished, you can wear it for work wear if you want to, then this is a really nice option. So I think I'm going to leave it there. If I see anything else I like online, I'll add it to the description box as well. But everything um, I've spoken about will be linked below, of course. Um, I would say in their sizing, I'd say things run a little bit small. Like for example, on their site, they say UK eight, um, but I feel like their eight is more of a six. That's the lowest size that they do. So I do feel like it fits more of a six. I usually go for the 10, like this blazer, for example, is a 10 and I'm normally an eight. So I would say, if in doubt, size up, unless you want something tighter fitting. Um, so I hope that helps. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know any future brands you'd like me to do this for. Um, please subscribe whilst you're still here and I've still got you. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.